In the recent light of the Vic Mignogna sexual allegation story, members of the Twitter community alongside the Dragon Ball community have pointed out that Christopher Sabat had been conducting himself in a very egregious way in responding to females over on Twitter in a very inappropriate manner during a very inappropriate time. And it's because of this that an individual that goes by the name of Carrot over on Twitter and having to post a tweet and having to quote, well, 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 Chris, you've been one bad boy. As another Twitter user by the name of Tennessee went on to state, turns out voice of Vegeta might have a thing for young cosplayers, but I suppose hashtag kick Vic can ignore all the potential pedo, right? People were calling Vic a quote, sick pervert. Meanwhile, Chris is over here looking at a potential teenager dressed as Bulma, the Playboy Bunny. Yikes. And I will say, I do think that Chris's comments are fairly inappropriate, especially right now during a very inappropriate time, but I don't think that Christopher Sabat is guilty of any sexual harassment or any kind of sexual assault on anybody. By simply having to comment that someone looks good shouldn't be used or labeled as anything egregious as having to paint someone out to be a predator, especially if they're making innocent comments and having to reflect on one's image. Christopher Sabat never went on to publicly incite for someone to go visit him or for him to come over or for him to engage in any kind of activity, but mainly commented in the fact that he wanted to go to a convention just because an individual was going that he found to be attractive. Again, it could be a joke, but I don't think that Christopher Sabat is in the wrong in terms of being looked at as a sexual predator or a sexual deviant because, realistically speaking, Chris Sabat hasn't done anything wrong. And although, yes, I could be wrong in my assessment in looking at this overall situation and Chris having to be painted out to be innocent, but then again, there are so many people now on Twitter basically calling out Chris and stating, okay, well, if you're blaming Vic Mignogna for hugging people and kissing people and having to be too friendly with people, then how come nobody is paying attention to what Chris Sabat is doing? And again, I don't think that Chris Sabat means any harm or is malice towards anybody in any sort of way, which Chris Sabat himself went on to clarify all of this by telling Carrot via Twitter, and I quote, If you read her tweet, she's referring to the new movie where Bulma makes the wish to be younger. What I was saying is that Bulma doesn't have to be younger to be attractive. Also, Dominique is an adult, and she also is my friend. Please stop steering up hateful nonsense. As Carrot goes on at the very bottom to admit and having to state, and I quote, I admit what I had done was wrong, alright, I will tell you why I did so. So of course, Chris went on to further elaborate that this is all made up nonsense and the fact that she is actually his friend is that people are taking this and running with it and painting him out to be the bad guy, especially individuals that are taking his tweets and misconstruing it to make it look like Chris is actually doing something wrong. And we can't simply witch hunt somebody just based on a few comments over on Twitter. And again, if you guys want to be up to date with all the latest info and information, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications to be in the loop with all the latest news and information that surrounds Christopher Sabat, Vic Mignogna, Monica Rial, and the entire situation because now members on both sides are seemingly fighting just because they believe that one party is right and one party is wrong. And again, I challenge people to go on ahead and challenge someone else's intellectual stance and seeing why they stand with what they believe in in comparison to what someone else thinks and or says about their position. But I think that here, when looking at this, this could be a hit or a miss for those that are accusing him of certain things. I don't think Christopher Sabat will go as far as to do anything malice because he is married, but then again, you'll never really truly know until, of course, it's put out there. But I do believe that the people that are taking this out of context perhaps are taking this out of context. Christopher Sabat, I don't think, would be the type of person to do anything heinous like that. And what's really interesting about all this is seeing how with Vic Mignogna having to be pursuing legal action now, this is affecting the entirety of Funimation and the entirety of Dragon Ball in such a way to where it's going to affect all of your favorite animes, including My Hero Academia, Dragon Ball especially, because all of these people are coming out in not only attacking one another's opinions, but also targeting one another's fandoms in the hashtag Kick Vic movement, in the hashtag I Stand With Vic movement, and until we get further closure, it's utter chaos in this community because once we go into the legal system and this gets settled in 
court, that's the only best way to go on ahead and settle the problems with said individuals. But right now, one of the main focuses is Chris Sabat. I don't think that this is a major issue at all. The primary issue right now is Vic Mignogna versus the sexual allegations made against him in this scenario. So it's a very sticky situation to be in. And I believe that a lot of parties are getting unnecessary judgment passed on them for small things like that. But again, I would like to have an intellectual conversation down below as to where you guys stand on this situation because with everything having to happen so quickly now following the events of the Broly movie, you just don't know who to believe anymore. Evidence is being falsified and tampered with. We have fake swatting calls. We have people pointing out little tiny Twitter comments here and there that are being made by certain celebrities and voice actors and individuals. And people are just at an uproar and having to go up against each other when it comes down to the bearing of an opinion. And I think that that in and of itself is what's dividing the community. So again, I want to get your thoughts in the comment section below as to where you guys stand. And if you guys believe that Chris is in the right or is in the wrong and your overall judgment and looking at what's going to happen with Vic Mignogna and him having to retain a law firm and taking this to the legal system and having to pursue legal action against said parties. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. Thank you all so much for watching, everybody. Once more, if you guys are new to this channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on all notifications, tune back in for the next video, and I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below. Have a great day, everybody. Peace.